number 13. Okay, so we'll expand a, a simplify the simple bracket. There's a couple of different ways of doing this, um, but what I might do is I would keep the first bracket as it is, and then I've got a long second bracket. So I'm actually going to multiply these two brackets out here and here. So 2x and 3x, 6x squared, 2x plus 1 is plus 2x minus 9x and and then minus 3 times 1 is minus 3. So let's just write that out again, but that second bracket is actually going to simplify a little bit. We're going to get 6x squared to start plus 2 minus 9x is minus 7x and then we get the minus 3 in the end. So now we've done that, we're going to do this multiplication and we're going to multiply and we're going to get a whole load of stuff. I'm going to multiply everything in this bracket by x and then everything in this bracket by 2. So let's write all of that out. There's going to be six different answers which we'll then simplify. So here and here, 6x cubed. Here and here, minus 7x squared. Here and here, minus 3x. Now, same thing, except everything times by 2. So plus 12x squared minus, the dodgy 14, but that is 14, and 2 times minus 3 is minus 6. And let's just collect everything together. We got 6x cubed. The x squared together is going to give us plus. 5x squared. These two together are going to give us minus 17x. And this one here is going to give us minus 6. Now there are other ways of doing it. You could multiply these two first and then that as the single one. Or the other combination, beginning the last first and this one. It just makes more sense if you do it that way. You should always get the same answer in the end. Here. Yeah. Um, we've got to do, we've got some indices here. And we need to remember the indices law of a to the power of m divided by a to the power of n gives us a to the power of m minus n. So we're subtracting the powers. So in this case, we're going to have n to the power of 4 minus a half, which is n to the power of Three and a half, which is a bit annoying and a bit clunky to have. So if we can t turn this to a single fraction, 3.5, we tend to not write decimals as powers, we tend to write them as fractions. So n, if you write this not uh, as a mixed number, as an improper fraction, n to the power of 7, oops. Let's try that again. Uh, oh, I don't know why it does all those things and not the thing that I actually did there. To the 7 over 2. So let's just write that here so it's clear. n to the power 7 over 2. 